Hello YouTube and welcome to episode number 10 of the Bristol Rivals career mode. We've got six games once again for you lads because we need to speed through this if we want to do the seasons and everything. So yeah, let's get into the first three games which are going to be post commentary. So the first game lads is against Yeovil Town and we're going to start off a bit, you know, it's not been the most exciting game but I'm only going to show really goal highlights or really close highlights here as you can see we've managed to squeeze on through to make a 1-0 against Yeovil Town which you could argue is not a very good result but it's a win and that's all I care about and for us that's all we're concentrating on just getting as much of a lead as we possibly can at the top um, it was a great save there as you can see but we're trying and trying to get a goal in this game but <laughs> This one ended nil-nil in front of the home crowd, which you never want. But unfortunately, that is how it ended. Third game's against Barnet away, hoping to, you know, try and score some goals, and we do that. The, this time, I can't quite remember who it was, sorry, but it doesn't matter as long as we're one look. And he's playing the violin, so you know, just let him do what he wants. Even if it's just a, a pitch raider, I'm not bothered. But that one was Matty Taylor. And it was a very frustrating game to play that I don't like the new patch. Um, apparently the new one coming out very soon, so um, I'd like to test that one out. And hopefully it's just an improvement on the old one. But we win 3-0, but it's not a very comfortable 3-0 win, I wouldn't have said. It's not, it wasn't very easy to play, or I found it very frustrating, even though the scoreline was three goals to nil. And let, uh... Right, that's not the best result, so it took a bit of a while to get us going. But the win didn't feel like a dominating win, it felt like a sort of win I'd normally get on the Leicester, Leicester City. But anyway, we're on to the next game, it's against Newport County and it's a bit of a rotated side due to the uh, low fitness on most of my players. So another formation, yeah it says 3-4-3 but literally I just change it for this game. Um, it's a 4-1-2-1-2 formation and it's an original Bristol Rovers side is another thing you'll notice. You can see there's a few people still with their low fitness like Leadbitter and McChrystal. Um, Taylor's got a bit off, but this is our side, and hopefully we can pull up. Where's he gonna? He's still got the ball. He's giving it to Matty Taylor. Matty Taylor, amazing. Jake Gosling, it's come back to him. And it's a good stop from that keeper. That's it. That's it. Good win, Jake. Jake Gosling. Put through Matty Taylor. He he's got enough pace to beat them defenders, and he has. He's left them two on two, and there's too many crowding round now. Ah, we need to be more clinical in the final third we can get him up to half time and it's gonna be a nil Matty Taylor what's he gonna do Matty Taylor take the shot he goes near post and the keeper palms it away now they've cleared it and it's half time nil nil ah we just need to bring on a bit of pace I would have thought Chris Lyons Ollie Clark Matty Taylor turn shoot saved by Bay Easter to Taylor all right this this defense Get in. That's it. That's it. Very well worked. Come on. Stuart Sinclair. Stuart Sinclair. Another finesse shot from outside the box. Stuart Sinclair. Get in. We're 2 0 up. And that would have gone in even if there were parking the bus. Indeed, I believe it was his right foot. It was. And a very good goal from Stuart Sinclair. He's scored a few of these I've seen seeing. And we're 2 0 up and it's looking comfortable. We've dominated this game and we deserve. This at least. So window next season. What a ball that is for Kalechi and Acho. He's onside. Finish the job. He squares it off to Easter and we're 3-0 up. I tell you what, when we score one, they just keep on coming. On the counter-attack every time. It was a beautiful ball. Never do it. And that was a beautiful ball. I'm not sure it was by but whoever it was. Class. <laughs> and it was a sweaty goal, but the more the merrier, eh? And it's full time, a 3 0 win against Newport County. Our pressure eventually paid off with Ollie Clark's strike. Then Stuart Sinclair with a beautiful finesse strike. 
and then Ian Acho squared it off to Jermaine Easter to make it 3-0 to Bristol Rovers. Another test in formation here, it's a 4-4-2 and yeah I'm going to see how this goes against Stavenage from that. Ian Acho, the keeper hasn't come out, finished that very well taken Ian Acho with 1-0 up in the 17th minute. It was a nice passing play, it was a beautiful ball, the keeper thankfully for me didn't come out and it was a beautiful shot and well kick and co cool, collective right. oh Christian Montagna has just won it I don't know what the defender was doing there like and he squared it off to Chetri who scuffed that one up real bad we need to be scoring it's always a second too late they take the pass or the second too early they make the touch just at the wrong time is that a corner as well well I thought so my gosh we may be winning 1-0 but this is real bull Oh my gosh, <laughs> that tops it off right there. Comes in for a corner after our terrible, he, he, even if he got a head to it, he'd be heading it in his own net. You have a look at this. <laughs> he misses the header, but it would have been an old goal if he headed it. My gosh. Well, 1-1 one, one, lads, not the situation we want to be in against Stevenage. It was sponsored by Tire Pros. Stavenage, lads. Stavenage. It's been a very frustrating game to play, not because of the um, pressure that they've put on or anything. It's just we can't say in a passive ball. And they've scored. It was actually. His name actually was Mark Hughes. Obviously gets tackled. That's it. Win the ball. That's it. I have none of it. H how? <laughs> He's a League 2 defender. He's made a double tackle. It's amazing. Ledbetter has given it to Billy Bourdain. Billy Bourdain's crossing it. It's a good cross. Oh, it's a beautiful cross. And on the end of it is Kelechi Iheanacho. I think. No, that's definitely not Kelechi Iheanacho. But it's a good... Who scored that? Christian Montagno. It was a very, very good cross. You see there, one of the best crosses I've seen. And he shushes the crowd. And after all the bull that's happened this game, I'm thankful that we've got a goal. Oh, but they've given it away poorly there. All you need to do is square it. Oh, how weird, man. That was the biggest opportunity we've had all game. Just to get rid of this lurking chance that they might get a goal back. But somehow the defenders have got 99 pace or something. Pass it. Pass it. Shoot it. Score it. There we go. And finally, we've got what looks to be the win. And it's 21 again. Christian Montagno gets his second of the game. Rugby tackle by Kalechi Iheanacho with 3-1 up. And that's what the score deserves to be. They don't even deserve to have scored. <laughs> it was a bad cross. We can't seem to make a pass this game. But thankfully, he's just managed to get a ball off him and smash it into the back of the net. And we are going to win. Not making any subs. Everyone who's not on the field will get and chances to you know get back oh that was a terrible touch come on Montagno nice Kalechi and Acho now needs to play the through ball to Billy Bodine can we be four it's 4-1 get in the goal was scored in the 90 plus second minutes and Billy Bodine finesse shot beautifully taken and there we go no, they're still going to sink. We've got an attack away. If they pass back, that's it. Yep. Full time, a 4 1 thrashing of Stevenage. And this is the side to play more than my last game of the episode in the FA Cup. I'm going to play this match and hopefully get further on to possibly face some of the bigger teams like the Premier League team. And guess what, lads? We're screwed. <laughs> it's snowing. If you didn't watch. My Leicester career mode when we was last time it was snowing. Yeah, we were facing Liverpool, <laughs> but we got beat 3 0. I do not want that to happen to us. And this isn't going to be the most pretty game, I can tell you right that. We won the throw. Nicely passed around Loftus Chief to Lines. So they're making a good connection there in the CDM role. Stuart Sinclair. Lee Brown. Lee Brown. Nice. I thought he was going to tackle you there. But we've got it with now with Stuart Sinclair. 
That rhymes. Ha! Funny, right? Stu Sinclair. I mean, to Broom. Broom smashes it home. Our cup hero, Ryan Broom, once again puts one home. That's what you want here. Stu Sinclair keeping it very cool. He's laid it off to Ryan Broom. He knows what he can do from there. And it's half time. A 1 0 up against Morgan. Since we scored the goal, it hasn't been very interesting at all. Oh, nice control from Ryan Broom. He puts a good ball into Little. Little gives it to Jermaine Easter. Jermaine Easter tries to put a cross in, and it's a very good cross. Our cross uh, deliveries have been very good. I see how it is. It's full time, that's how it is. We have won this game. 1 0, which I'm pretty happy with, with it being in the snow, and I uh, just can't play FIFA when it's snowing, so I'm happy with that. Right, as you can see here, the round three of the Emirates FA Cup is yet to be decided. There's a couple of replays going on, as you can see there. Um, but in the meantime, we've got a match which I think, okay, it's the semi final against Exeter. Um, and that's going to be the start of the next episode. So if you enjoyed this episode, if you enjoyed the layout of it, leave a like. Tell me a comment on how, what you think of it. Um, and yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching, lads. I'll see you later.